Okay, so today I think this is going to be a little bit of a challenge. This is the May 2021 Better Homes and Gardens. We're going to do a one magazine collage challenge. And I always find these to be fun, but when I do them and they're from, like this is a home and garden book, a lot of times I find they don't have big heads or big faces, and so maybe they're a little bit more, oh, that's pretty, a little bit more of a challenge than other things. So let's just real quick go through Jennifer Garner. I love her. Look, I'm telling you guys, I think I was an Egyptian in a past life because those kind of things keep coming into my art. So for sure, I'm gonna have this Egyptian cat. There's a cow, we could maybe do a cow face. We could make the farmer a cow. Oh. Kittens. That's, did they paint it that way? Painted the door hardware on the entry color. I don't know if I love that. That to me. See, I love that. I think that's very pretty. Huh, interesting. Let's not get into how we paint our home because I live in the house of beige. I have always been super into painting my home when I live in it. But we live in the strangest house ever because it doesn't really have ends of the walls. So if you were to look at our house, if you go from our front room, it goes into our kitchen, into our great room all around. So there's not like a stopping point and you'd have to paint all of it, which seems hard. We have a great house. It is huge. I kind of love this these shapes. I don't love the words. There's a child. I don't use children. Okay. Well, it's getting a little scary. I feel like I say that every time. Okay. I like that kismet. Ooh, do we want kismet? Let's take kismet. I have concerns about finding a big head. Don't you? <laughs> okay, there's a pig. See, I'm old enough to know I don't want a pig. They're delightful. Don't get me wrong. I think pigs are delightful and they're very smart. But, um, but I like my animals to sleep with me. And I just know a pig would take my spot. All right, we are, oh, we got half a dog head that's big enough. All right, I'm gonna pull out the half a dog head for a minute. <sighs> okay. And we have a cat. Okay, what if, what if we kind of put him on an edge, right? Let's see what we can find for his body. We've got a door that's very pretty. We could turn that sandwich and make a sandwich body. Let's put a pin in that. Oh my gosh, look at all those words. Ooh, I love the words. Okay, so my sandwich body just got taken away. We gotta keep looking for a body. Okay. This could be a super fun one with lots of words and animals and fun things. We could make this his body. Hmm. I don't know. We will see about that. We got doggies. Look at these mouses. Oh, they're colorful. Okay, I'm gonna have the little colorful mice. 
Ooh, I'm kind of thinking this one could be fun. Do I need a cow? I don't know if I need a cow. Let's put a pin in that one. That's snazzy. The germs. I love those germs for a background. Ooh, I kind of want to use the germs. I'm feeling, I'm feeling teal. Listerine gets so much free publicity from me because I love the color of their germs. There's a kid. Don't do kids. There's a mommy. My daughter's a mommy. All kinds of doggles. I didn't see them the first time. Okay, there's some super pretty flowers. All right, let's keep our eyes on the food too. Sometimes you can do something fun with the food. Okay, let's think about this. We have... I was wondering if I could use those and then paint over that, but I feel like it'd be a lot easier to just do my own thing. Okay, we have a lady. Oh, we don't have a body yet. You have to remind me of these things. Okay. There's some teal. Let's see, where's his cute head? We could turn this. Yeah, I'm gonna turn that and make it a body. Whew, whew, this is a rough one. Okay. Do we have legs? I know I'm asking a lot. I knew when I picked this up, it was um, in a little pile that I hadn't gotten to. And I'm like, oh, maybe I should just skip this one. Uh, I knew this was gonna be a challenge. But that's what we're here for, right? The challenge. I think it's gonna be a very, um, uh, you know, like a uh, graphic one with colors and yeah. Okay. Ooh, we have some eyes. Do we want to give him a people eye? Let's see. If I gave him people eyes, I hardly ever use the back of my covers. I don't know, it might make him too weird for words, but let's try it. I'll cut them out today and we'll see. And then once I get these all cut out, I will, um, we'll go back to finding a background and things like that. And if you ever use the silicone Mod Podge brushes, this is what's the best is I don't even have to wash them. I just peel, it doesn't peel as well off of here. But you don't have to wash them, you just peel them. So, all right, I will be back with um, these cut out. We are gonna work on our Better Homes and Gardens Style Maker issue. So, I know kind of what I wanna do with this after I um, cut them out yesterday. So, this is what we have, which is very, very skimpy. Okay, so we have a cat. I think I'm going to do it on this page. We have some mice with cute tails, right? We have a whole bunch of fun words. I think I'm going to put these people eyes, but I'm going to make them beautiful on this dog on the side, right? Like this. Make that his tummy. 
Yep, I want as little of the spoon as I can get, so I can get most of that gone. And so if we put these guys up here, I think we can do it. And then have fun words all over the place. So we have, you know, cute words to put around. So let us start with the border. And we are going to use this as the border. So I'm going to do half blue, half germs. I'm going to do all germs. I'm going to do half blue, half germs. I'm going to do all germs and then we'll see how far, we, well that won't be enough because we know that isn't enough. So let's do half blue, half germs. Let's do germs. And then we'll see what else we have to work with. Okay. So let's get our borders. We're going to come over here. And I think that since not everybody has Nouveau glue or glitter glue, let's just do the borders this time with the Mod Podge, because that's going to be super fast, although it doesn't dry as fast, right? Then we can't do as much with our um, with our inks and stuff right away. Okay, I have four of these, so I think I can go right around real quick. Let's see, let's try to get as little of that Listerine bottle as possible. Because while I like Listerine's germs, I do not care for the bottle as much as they might think. All right, let's go over to the edge here. And I don't wanna get this on the underneath pages too much, right? So we're just gonna pick this up real quick. That is how you glue your your pages together. And I feel like this is going to be a cute pop of teal on here. All right. Let's get that on there. Let's get this over here. And you never know. We may doodle our germs. Look, this is not a color safe background. I must have sprayed um, distress or dilutions on there because the color yellow is moving around, which is what I exactly what I don't like in my projects. I like everything to stick which is why 90% of the time I don't use it, so I'm not sure why I used it this time, but you know what we're gonna do today? We are gonna solve this problem right now. So we're gonna try not to move it around too much. We're gonna stick to the yellow to the yellow, but it's gonna move. We're gonna stick the pink to the pink, but it's gonna move. See the yellow coming up? All right, so we're gonna have a little bit of a weird background, but that's fine. Let's try not to move it too much. That's just a goober. And we're gonna let this dry and I will be back. Okay, so this is pretty clear. So that means it's dry enough that we could probably do something with it. Let's go with, my family says I'm the loudest sneezer in the world. I don't think that's true. I'm thinking there have to be louder sneezers. Okay, so we're gonna put a couple little bump outs here because I like bump outs in my border. So I'm gonna bump this out. I'm gonna take this little extra bit off. I'm gonna bump out up there. I don't like my borders to be perfectly square. I don't know, it just kind of makes me nervous. 
All right, so now uh, we'll put that up in a corner, kind of cover some of that yellow that might have been problematic. Okay, so now let's figure out what we're gonna do with the doggy eyes. And I don't wanna make it look bad, I wanna make it look pretty, okay? So this isn't a case of where I'm going for shock factor or anything like that. I'm going for, let's make these really pretty eyes on the dog. And I'm kind of going around the, the upper eyelid right now, right? I can always cut more. I can't put back if I wanted the upper eyelid back. I mean, I could, I have glue, but it would be dinky. Okay, so let's see. Let's go right along the lower eyelid now. And I'm gonna make maybe a little bit of a cat's eye. Oh, cat's eye on a dog. Okay. Here we go. So that is what an actual eye looks like. So I think I want less of the real human eye. So I am going to take away all, everything but the white and the blue. I don't even want the little eye part in the corner. And I'm gonna make her because she's a she-dog now. Really pretty eyes. Okay, so we're gonna do that. We're gonna do this. Now we know what we're doing. We're gonna pull out these whites and the blue, and she's gonna have beautiful eyelashes, and she's gonna have gorgeous eyes. And I'm not gonna flip them around or do anything weird. I just want there to be Pretty eyes. Okay, so hers would go right there. And we're gonna follow the curve of her snoot. And she's gonna have her head tipped up a bit anyways, right? Cause we got that, um, we only have half of her head. So let's tip that a little bit. So kind of her eyes are equally like that, let's cut this off because I'm not gonna try it to draw in the rest of a dog head. Just ain't hap happening people. Uh-oh, well, I'm glad I saw that. That would have been disastrous because those, those smice are part of my design. Okay, now we're gonna do, we're gonna hook her. I think I can get rid of 99% of, I think I want her body straight and her head crooked. Well, let's do this. I want this to come down here. And then I want her body to be along here. Now I have tried before to make feet and I don't kit in my um, thrift store crafts, thrift store challenges. And the reason I love doing the thrift store challenges is because then I learn what I like and what I don't like. And I'm here to tell you, I do not like fake feet. I used some Dixie cups and I hated them. I like feet to be feet. They can be dog feet, they can be people feet. I can have weird bodies. I can even have weird heads, but I cannot have fake feet for some reason. Okay, I wanna pull this as down. Not to the very bottom, but pretty far down. There we go. Now we're gonna do this one. And we're gonna put her ear right up here and we're gonna have everything come down from that. So there we go. Now we see her kind of eye on the corner there. We see her eye here. She's looking adorable. She's very attractive. Doggle, okay. Now we have the cat. And I think she's gonna sit, I want her wing to fit right in there. So it's just gonna be part of this, like she is as cat should be, the goddess of the page. She's gonna sit right there. All right. 
cute, cute, cute. Let's make sure we're not sticking our page to the back page. Okay, that is not straight. Let's get that straight. We may need to put a little dab. Nope, it's got glue right there. Let's put a little dab, because this is gonna be problematic if we do not get this stuck, stuck down, because there's just a tiny bit of that right there. So we wanna get that stuck down. We have just a second to move things. Okay, that should stick well. Okay, so we have that. Now, these guys are mice. Get it, cats and mice? So I want, I think I want them to go up because I want to make their tails in the colors of their tails. I want to play with color on this one more than I usually do. And this is a secret that I will tell you that I do is when I'm using something small like this and I want all four of them, I will keep them hooked together until I get them either here, which sometimes I cut them apart now, or until they're glued down. So I'm just gluing their mousy parts, not their tails, and then I'll cut them apart in a minute. But this keeps them from, and the reason why I wouldn't do them all together is maybe I wanted to put them uh, different heights or whatever. This keeps them from yeah, give me one second, Pooh. I'll be done in one second. You know, I never am mad at children doing cleaning. Okay, so I'm gonna cut those apart. I'm going to stick down all these words. Like I like that word there. Keep a little bit of our, our, um, our germs. And I kind of want the words to be fun and not just straight across. I want to make sure we have a little bit of her feet so we know she has feet. So we have adventurous. I need a short word. This could go up here, inspiring. I was worrying I would, wouldn't even have enough to cover a page, but gosh, with all these words, I feel like I got plenty. All right, so we got uh, some, sh oh, creative is a big word for me. I'm gonna put creative like this so it sits in here because that is really a big word for, for me and my brand and things like that. And I am probably going to color some of these with the um, alcohol pens, which are less opaque even than the India ink pens. Okay, here we go, here we go. So confident isn't me, innovation, let's see. I, I want bold for sure, what is this one? That one's none, and I've got bold. Do we put bold maybe right there? Okay, let's do bold right there. And then we have just one more, and then my son can do the cleaning. We go this way, we went this way. Bold, kind of tucked in that, right? So it kind of, this leads into this, leads into this, and I feel like I need something to make this not be a, ooh, do I do it? Oh, that's what I do. I do it off the top. So you just see part of it. That's one thing I forget, I know everybody forgets, is not everything has to be right on the page, right? So we're gonna do this. And that's gonna be up there. And then those two guys have somebody to hang out with. These guys have somebody to hang out with. And I will be working on this and I will, oh, hold on, a little bit of glue. And I will be back. Okay, as you can tell, this is a little bit different area than my normal videos, but I wanted to show you, I'm trying to keep the shadow off. What I did was I outlined the outside that was all white of those letters with teal marker, with teal Sharpie and gray Sharpie, 
and that let me pull kind of pull the letters back into the page I just wanted to give you a little behind the scenes so you could see this step and this is the only light place in my kitchen okay so this is the end of better homes and gardens and who knew that we could take this and make this i just think this is stunning so things i did last night first off i whitened her eyeballs and i um made her eyes more blue i gave her really cute eyelashes i showed you how i did the um in between part but then i went around and i did just white all in there and then i think this is super fun I took the, the little mousies and I made their tails have drippies over the cat. I think that's it. A little bit of shading, a little bit of black, but overall, this I just think this turned out so cute. Um, and it's fun. It's on this, this page. So these are both kind of not, um, you know, people ones, more just fun abstract ones. So hopefully you love it as much as I do, Tara Jacobson, Artsy Fartsy Life.